Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this cool page flip transition in DaVinci Resolve. With your clip selected, head over to the Fusion page. Now I want the next clip to appear as the first one turns over. So let's go ahead and add a second clip. Next, I'll disconnect Media in 1 from the Media Out node, and instead, I'll connect Media in 2 to Media Out. Now select the Media in node, press Shift plus Space to open the Select Tool window, and search for Image Plane 3D. Add it to the node tree. Then open the Select Tool window again, search for Renderer 3D, and add that as well. I'll quickly rearrange the nodes to keep the node graph clean. Next, select the Media in 2 node and click on the Merge option to add a Merge node. Then connect the Renderer 3D node to the Merge node. Now you'll see that the first image is layered on top of the second one. Now, to create the bending effect, I'll select the Image Plane 3D node, open the Search tool, look for Bender, and add it to the node graph. Next, open the Inspector panel. By default, the Bender type is set to Bend, and the Bending axis is set to Y. If you adjust the Amount parameter now, you'll notice the clip bends vertically along the Y axis. But for a page flip effect, we want it to bend horizontally. So I'll change it to the X axis, and if you drag the Amount slider now, you'll still see it isn't bending perfectly. So change the Angle value to 90 degrees, and now, if you adjust the Amount, you'll see it's bending perfectly. I'll set the Amount value to 1, that gives us a full bend. Next, I'll go to the Bender 3D node and click on one so we can view it in the first screen viewer. Now go to the center parameter in the inspector. This controls the axis, the position where the clip will bend from. I'll set the center value to zero. And now, if you drag the range parameter all the way to one side, you'll see the clip bending from one end, just like flipping a page from the corner. Now let's animate the page flip. Head over to the range parameter and click the diamond icon to keyframe it at the very first frame. Then move the playhead to frame 25 and drag the range value all the way to the left and hit play to see the bend in action. Now click the image plane node. See those octagon-like edges? Just bump the subdivision to 40 for a smooth, rounded bend. Now head to the Transform tab and adjust the scale until the clip fits your screen perfectly. You can also use the translation parameters to reposition the clip wherever you want on the screen. Now hit play and you'll see that a part of the clip still remains at the end. To fix this, select the Bender node and go to the 25th frame. Keyframe the center parameter there, then move one frame forward and change the center value to around negative 0.2. This adjusts the bending point and gets rid of that leftover piece. Now if you play it, the page flip looks clean and complete. Now to make the page flip feel more realistic, we need it to bend diagonally, just like how you'd flip a real page from the corner. And it's actually pretty simple. We'll add two Transform 3D nodes. First, select the Image Plane 3D node, open the Search tool, and add a Transform 3D. Then do the same with the Bender node, add another Transform 3D node right after it. Now click on the first Transform 3D node, the one before the Bender. Under the Rotation section, change the Z value to negative 33.9. Remember this number, because we'll need it again. Next, select the second Transform 3D node, the one after the Bender, and set its Z rotation to 33.9. Notice how the first one was negative and this one is positive. That's intentional. It flips the clip diagonally and then brings it right back into position. And that's it. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more, and don't forget to tap the bell.